in this tutorial I will explain that how you can find out the power and the torque of uh, any rotating machinery the example I am using here is a centrifugal fan and the formula used to calculate the power is equal to the torque times the rotational velocity and the omega is in the radians per second if you talk about the SI system and the torque is in the Newton meter and the power is in the Newton meter per second or watts. In the in the in the previous tutorial, tutorial number one, we we found out the torque is equal to from the fluent was equal to the 5.13 and the power was approximately equal to the thousand watts. Now the same case we will use and uh, now I will explain the procedure to find out the power and torque in the CFD post. So here we have the CFD post. Now I will go to the file and from the file I will choose the option load results. And then I will look for the case and data file of the same case we used in the fluent part. So here we have the file. Click on open. So file has been loaded. Now I will go to the option for the single view and click on the single view here. And I will enable the visibility of the blades, hub, leading edge and the trailing edge. Zoom the geometry so that you can look at, you can clearly see the geometry we have. This is same as we, we used in the tutorial number 1. Now go to the table and click on the table so it will generate a new table and I will keep the default name of the table 1 and click on the OK. Now click on the cell A1 and uh, then click on the data entry zone and from here right click and choose the functions CFD post and torque Z because the rotational axis is along the Z axis and the location I will choose first is the blades and click on the enter key then again click on the cell A2 and then click in the data entry zone function CFD post torque and the second location is the hub of the impeller and now repeat again for the leading edge And similarly, last one is the for the trailing edge. So we have the values for the torques, and uh, you can also change the way uh, you look at the data. You can change the number formatting from here, and you can put the in a fixed num in a fixed format so you can choose the number of uh, decimal places let's say keep the 3 for the second number the fixed one so this will give you the option to put the data in a normal format you can read easily So for the whole torque, the value comes out to be just add the all the values. So 5.1 point first is uh, 5.28 plus 0.207 plus 0.008 and minus 0.143. So this value is 5.172. In the in the from the fluent, the value was the uh, 5.13. Let me do it again. 5.238 plus 0 0.027 plus 0 0.008 minus 0 0.143 okay so there was some I think calculation error so the value is 5.13 also we got the same value from the fluent which was a 5.13 okay so from the fluent the value is also 5.13 and the, from the CFD post the value is also 5.13 one three and it should be because the same case same boundary condition and the 
uh, same solution so they should be the same result okay so and the power will be equal to the the radius into the torque and i told you that the you can you can convert the power into the torque sorry you can co convert the rpm to the radius per second using some app on the net also or you can use the your own formulation so very simple to calculate so to the rpm are equal to the 209.43 okay so 5.13 into the 209.4395 is a 1074 same as the in the total number one 